WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 101. NASDAQ down, up 8. S&P's up 9. Gold contract. Gold contract down $1.30, trading at $12.84 an ounce. We had silver down 6 cents, $14.55 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 87 cents, $58.77 a barrel. Notes and bonds. We had the 10-year note down 7 ticks, 124.31. 30-year bond down 9 at 151.05. And King Dollar, King Dollar down 283 ticks, trading 97.440. The Euro at 112 to 1 US dollar, the Yen at 109.30, and the Pound at 127.14. If we get over and we take a look at the dollar first, what you're looking at is this, folks. What we did out here this week is that we made it to the swing high, bailed on price. Uh, the swing high that we're talking about here was the 98085. We get over it yesterday, spiked over it, gave it up in spades, down lower today. And now the real question is going to be, is this uh, good old King Dollar going to make its way down to the 94 area? 94 is the bottom of this consolidation. If we go take a look at the, the euro, which is 60% of the U.S. dollar, what you're going to see there is that that did reject lower price yesterday. Trading higher now. It hasn't broken its downtrend yet. Uh, if, when we take a look at the euro, what you're going to see is that we are going to be approaching, when we come back to work next week, the trend line of the, the this has been down since January 1st. Uh, the break in that trend line is going to be, the, the break would be 112.23. And right now you're at 112.08. Now, if we break that, um, if you want to look, see the dollar going lower, which I happen to want because um, I think gold's going higher. What you're going to see, uh, what you're going to be looking for is wide price spread on the break. And, well, the euro we wouldn't have volume on, but that's what you'd be looking for. We go to take a look at the uh, gold contract. Gold contract caught a bid out here yesterday. Uh, bottom line, this hasn't also really broken its downtrend from the 20th of February. Uh, it's got to get a little bit higher to break that downtrend. Um, you know, you can you can make the case that yeah, you actually you know do have a break in it, um, and we broke it a couple weeks ago, but came back underneath it. Uh, bottom line, it's going to need another wide price spread, accelerated volume. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend, folks. We look forward to speaking to you right back here Tuesday morning, nine o'clock.